Hi guys, this is Hai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about for join and combine letters. So what is the difference between them and how they actually work behind the scenes whenever we are using this combine latest and for join. So let me go into the Visual Studio code. Here, what we will do is we will do a API call that is a set of API calls or multiple API calls or we want to execute multiple set of observables then we have to use for join and combine latest for example i'll go with a sample example now without http and if you want to go with http you can go with http as well let me show you that so let me create an observable const of observable or just create of observable is equal to I want to create an observable by using of operator and I want to pass 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and now let me use a interval so let me get the source of 2 that is observable 2 let me use something like second observable is equal to there is a method from rxjs that is nothing but interval so let me use an interval and it will act like a set interval in our javascript so let me use something like 3000 milliseconds that is 3 seconds so let me save this now inside the constructor i want to execute both of them so how these two observables can be executed at once and how they work with folk join and combine letters let's see that so first thing i'll show you about combine latest combine latest it is coming from rxjs and this combine latest will receive array of observables so in this case this is an observable and this is another observable so that means we have created one observable with of operator and i have created one more observable with interval operator so let me copy this observable of observable and let me paste the second of observable as well so now this are the instance of this keyword so let me use this dot second observable and save this now let me use a subscribe because it's an observable again so i'll get a response and inside this response let me print the values console.log of response and if you see we are passing an array and hence the result will be in an array format let me save this and now our expectation is one two three four and then it will go into the interval as well so how this combine latest will behave actually speaking combine latest will complete first observable which will emit at least one value and it will wait for the second observable to emit at least one value from the second observable and if all the observables are emitted at least one value then it will come into the subscription part so in this case i have four emissions one two three four so first emission starts at one but after three seconds there is one more emission that is from second observable so here what happens if this observable is not triggered until 3000 milliseconds that is three seconds now first off observable will not wait for this 3000 milliseconds that's why it will go immediately to one and two and three and four now it will be waiting until the second observable emits at least one value so let me go here and inspect console clear this off and reload now you can see here you will be getting an array of values you can see four and zero after three seconds again i got four and one four is the last that is the latest value of my first observable and zero is my first emission of second observable so that's why it will wait until the second observable emits at least one value so now if you use third observable let me use third observable is equal to i'll use same interval again but this time i'll use 10,000 milliseconds that means 10 seconds so till 10 seconds whatever the emissions happened over here and whatever the emission happen over here that both will be considered and it will start a new observable in our third observable and that will be emitted after 10 seconds so let me go here and use this dot third observable and save this let me go here now you can see the first observable emission will happen after 10 seconds so after 10 seconds you got 420 and 430 and 
four four zero that means still it is zero the latest value is still zero because it is not emitting a new value after three or four emissions it came to one 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 but you if you see the off observable it is common value because it has been ended up with the latest value that is four but this will have a latest value for every three seconds this will have a latest value for every 10 seconds that means it will wait until you get all the emissions with at least one value that is about combined latest until unless all the emissions if they are not happening at least one then that observable will not come into the subscription part now this is about combined latest now let me comment this and now let me use the same approach for fork join and this fork join will also receive the same same way like, like of observable comma second observable comma third observable and dot subscribe of result implies console dot log of result so here what's the problem i'll tell you now it went to second observable now this second observable and third observable will continuously emit the values and there is no stop for this emissions hence fork join will not come into the subscription bot because fork join will expect all the observable to complete the emission so once all the observables completes the emission then only it will come to subscribe here at least one should be emitted from each observable but here the last value should be emitted and each and every observable should tell that i have completed my emissions at that time it will come into the subscription part let me go here and reload now you will not see any of the consoles here because all the observables are continuously emitting the values no observable is getting stopped only the first one is getting stopped because it is having the last value as 4 now what i'll do is i'll use something called as fourth observable is equal to i'll use again an off operator and then i'll take 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 so here the emission stops at 4 here the emission stops at 6 this will not be stopping at all so that's why let me remove these two values now let me use this dot fourth value now the emissions will be happened at 4 and at 6 and it will stop the execution hence it will go into the subscription part let me go here and you can see the fourth and the sixth value that means the last value of the first observable and the last value of the fourth observable are getting into the subscription part this tells us for join will wait until all the observables are done with their emissions so that is how you can use for join and combine latest combine latest will wait for at least one value from each observable and for join will wait to execute and the emissions are completed for all the observables so this is a sample example to understand now what we'll do is the same thing we will try to do it with http call so now let me comment this as well what i'll do is instead of using some hard coded values let's get the http calls so let me use something like const http urls is equal to i'll make an array which is something like this dot get that means we need to have http so let me go into app module and let me use import with at the rate angular slash common slash http and now it will have something called as http module that is client module let me copy this and put it over here now i can use this http modules and i can make use of them in our component so let me use a inject mechanism here http is equal to inject of http client and save this now i can use this http to generate our http calls so let me use this dot the first call is something like this dot http dot get of i need to get a url so let me create one variable for the url const base underscore url is equal to let me get that url so let me go here json placeholder slash to do's and get this so if you pass one you will be getting the 
object of 1 if I pass 2 you will be getting the object of 2 let me copy this and put it over here this 2 and 1 I'll make it as dynamic so now let me remove this and save this this get will receive a string of base URL that is dollar base URL I'm using a string literals and it is already having a slash let me use one so it is something like to do slash one let me make it like this instead of using slash there to avoid confusion let me use something. and now the next value let me copy this and put it over here let me pass it as two and copy this put it over here and let me make it as three now this HTTP URLs is an array of observables I can pass this array of observables either to combine latest or fork join so it depends on your use case now my use case is if I want to complete all the HTTP calls and then come back I can use fork join that is also fine or the second thing is combine latest as we know this HTTP will return only one value and this HTTP will return only one value and this HTTP will only return one value so in this case I want to wait at least one value in that particular cases you can use either combine latest or fork join so let me show you that let me comment this combine latest and remove this array and make use of HTTP URLs and uh, for better understanding and to use this in our github let me comment this and now let me go here and create a new one combine latest of this that is HTTP URLs dot subscribe and you'll get a response let me use this response inside the console.log of response and now you will be getting the response from combine latest which is an array and the combination of http gets of one two three and let me use the same pattern inside our fork join as well fork join and save this now you will be getting the combine latest value and the fork join value let me go here and go to the console you can see line number 27 and 31 27 is something related to the combined latest and fork join it is related to our 31st line let me go into the network and it is already in slow 3g let me reload so now what happens you can see all the api calls will be called at a time you can see all are in pending state and it will not bother which is responded you first it will wait for all the api calls to be success and then you will be getting the values over here so in this case you can use either a fork join or you can use combine latest that is not a big deal why because here we are not having a continuous emission if you have the continuous emission and if you want to get the latest values of that emission then you have to use combine latest if you don't have the continuous emission and there is an end up in that emission of that observable then you can use fork join for join should not be used on a continuous emission because you will not get that subscription at any point of time if there is a continuous emission at least one observable if it is continuously emitting don't use for join so that is how you can use for join and combine latest and now we can use the pipe over here we can use any of the observables or any of the operators inside the pipe whatever you want to perform the logic you can perform but this is a sample example to show difference between combine latest and fork join for example in a case where i have something like to do's but i have one more url let me make it as const invalid url so if there is an invalid url in one of the request what will happen let's see that let me copy this and put it over here i don't have tod url so it will give the four not for error in this case if I am putting it in second what will happen so in this case the three are not successfully completed only two are completed and one is a failure case let me go here and remove this to no throttling and clear this off go to console and reload if you see that you are getting 404 error that means it is not executing the remaining cases so if you don't want to execute the remaining cases when one particular API gets failed then you can use this approach but it should not be the case every time there is a case where 
if you are getting a failure of http second call the third call should work out as expected so in that case you can use error handling i'll explain you about error handling in the upcoming videos for now this is what we can use combine latest and for join hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you